Hey everyone, it's the random name 951 bringing you another review on one of my Gundam MSIA action figures and today we're going to be doing an unboxing video again. Unboxing, unboxing. Well, uh, I'll tell you what I mean right now, so let's see here. Just got today in the mail this morning about like half an hour ago, hour ago. Took off my, my uh, what you call it, my address, because you know. Uh, excuse me. Now we're going to try to get to an op to opening this. Hopefully, I get. Don't want to cut myself too much. This is my unboxing knife I use a lot. Let's see. From now on, if the box isn't too hard to open, I'll try. Um, I'll try videotaping it while I'm unboxing until I get a stand or something so I can hold my camera <clears throat> but kinda hard to do this with one hand so apparently okay now I'm gonna get these sides right here it is not working out so well give me a second I'll try to get this sorry my fingers in the way let me just get the other side Oops, okay. Okay, there's one flap. Let's get the next flap. God, it's a struggle. Okay, and our last flap right here to reveal my newest gun to my collection. About crap my pants. I'm going to cut myself right now after the cutting open the back. So here we go. There it is. <laughs> As you can see, I just revealed what it is. Just take it off. Gundam Death Scythe Hell Custom Endless Vault. Let's go. I got him for $18.95 with free shipping. <clears throat> There's another one like a day after going for like a a dollar less. It was like nine ninety nine with seven dollars sh something shipping. So the person who would have got that if they did win the bid, we got for like a dollar less what I got mine for. But yeah, here he is, Gundam Death Scythe Hell Custom Endless Waltz. Um, I have the other Gundam Death Scythe Hell. I'll show you him real quick. But he's a gift for a family member, but the family member still hasn't said anything. Gundam Death Scythe Hell. I believe this is the custom. I, I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out. I believe this is the custom one where like he covers himself with armor. This is armor opens for battle mode. Oh yeah, because the difference is Gundam Death Scythe Hell. So, yeah, I have Death Scythe Hell and then there's Death Scythe. Yeah. <clears throat> I was really looking for this one because <clears throat> I really like the design on the endless waltz. So it looks really cool, and the one long beam side looks awesome. Yeah, this is going to be also an um, an unboxing video, so I will be taking this bad boy out of its box. I just felt how it's already kind of open for me, so I guess the package. Sorry guys, I'm back. So like I was saying, the box I felt it was a little open already. So, I mean, it's still brand new, it's just that the box has some damage since it's in cardboard. But yeah, this is going to be an, uh, probably an unboxing review. Um, yeah, so let's just get this finished. So, I'm going to open my Gundam Death Scythe Hell. My first ever. I don't really collect the Gundams, I keep them in the box. I, I keep them... I collect them to have them on display and, you know, do some play with them. So as you can see, the cardboard came off the plastic very well. Left the box intact pretty well. Not too bad. You don't got cardboard ripping off going to the center or anything like that. <clears throat> so let's see if I get this off. <clears throat> Check it out. Gundam Death Scythe Hell Custom Deluxe Mobile Suit Endless Waltz Gundam Wing 
And we got some instructions down here on how to attach the. Let me try to focus. On how to attach the um, the wings, how they articulate, and how the little spikes come up, and some other stuff, and how they connect together to make his cloak. Pretty awesome. So now, I'm gonna take him out of his packaging. Got some tape here. Got to peel off. Let me just peel off right now. It won't take too long. Yep. Tape. I think next time we just put this on pause or something, so so I'm not making the video any longer than it already is. Okay, I got two more pieces of tape, and then this will be done. So here we go, sorry about that. Next time when I'm, uh, I'm taping something on an unboxing video, I'll just put the the video pause. But here we go. I got the tape off. There is tape all, like, six tape along the plastic. So take it off. And then let's look at the, the, the scythe real quick. Looks really awesome. Nice detail. It is translucent, so light can't go through it. Pretty cool. Uh, let's see here. I don't think the scythe comes off. I know. Oh, it, it does. You just gotta pull on it hard enough. Pretty cool. So I'll put the scythe to the side over here or something. And now, what I've been waiting for. It looks like we got some like little plastic parts to keep the, the guy. I guess in the plastic safely or something. And I accidentally ripped off a wing. So now I can never fly again, unfortunately. There we go. I can put the cardboard back. Or not the cardboard, the plastic. Oops. Okay. <clears throat> so here he is. I'm gonna try to put his wings back together because they, or they were never on right. I'm not sure. Okay, so I'm connecting the wings as you just heard. Really awesome. They have like this nice plastic rubber feel of them. Here's the wings. Got some Batman wings over here. They fold together to make the cloak. And here's the the, the gunman. He looks really cool. He's got these little things up here. I haven't really watched Gundam Wing, so I don't know too much about this Gundam. I just know he looks really awesome. The only thing that looks kind of weird that looks kind of weird on him is his little shoes. I have the weirdest thing on him, but the rest of it looks awesome. There's the back of him. The face. Let me see. I'm going to try to zoom in so you can see it better. There's his face. 
pretty cool. Little shoes. It's got some detail on the back of his head, like little lines. <clears throat> Overall, really awesome. Now, let me put his wings on real quick. Looks like his wings are like on a ball joint. If I can show you real quick. It's a little ball. And the ball goes inside the the back right here. So let me do that real quick. I noticed this um this figure doesn't come with extra hands, but that's okay. So here we go. Got Gundam Death Scythe Hell custom from Endless Waltz. Really awesome. Couldn't put a scythe on um, as of right now. But yeah, he just looks really awesome. I'll show you how he looks with his little cloak up. Let's see here. You gotta put these little things up first and then you can close it. Then they just kind of fall apart. I think, let's see, yeah, I couldn't do it right, but that's how he looks, sort of, really awesome Gundam. <clears throat> this guy has a more mechanical look to him, he has more of like a, a bat look, hellish figure, but I like this one a lot more, he has a black and gray, this guy's like a blue and baby blue, not as menacing, but his double death scythe is pretty cool. Yeah, he is pretty awesome still. The only thing is I don't like how right there it gets all it gets all thick and then it gets all thin, so it looks all weak. So I, I'm, I'm afraid this this scythe would break before this one. Um, fortunately, he doesn't come with a little booster shield with a little beam saber thingy. But still, nonetheless, another cool figure, I guess. The one you would pick would be on your preference, whether like the Endless Waltz or the original. But I, I really like this Endless Waltz and his design. Really awesome. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. I have a couple more figures coming in, and hopefully I get some more. I'll be doing the review videos and more in-depth review on my other ones I haven't done yet. So yeah, um, thanks, guys, and stay tuned.